All right, so the, the question is, what do I do if I come across a property with a boiler system? Whenever I come into the build, uh, to a building, the first place that I always go to is the basement. Your most expensive parts of the building are in the basement. If I'm walking around with someone that, that tells me they know what they're doing in real estate and they don't walk down to the basement right away, I immediately know in my mind they have no idea what they're doing because all of your expensive components are down there. And so when I go down to the basement, I'm looking at the panels. Are the meters inside the building, outside the building? If they're inside the building, that tells me that they're not up to code and that if you add anything in terms of updating the electric, you're gonna have to put a new meter box on the outside. That's gonna cost you a fortune, okay? Then if you have cast iron stacks, cast iron stacks have a shelf life of 50 to 70 years. With respect to boilers, I run into that same issue. Forced air furnaces and central air, they're so much more efficient than a boiler system. And as soon as a tenant walks into a unit and they start to see that it's not forced air heat, that you don't have the central air, they're, they're not interested in it. Oh, I always take it out, always, yeah.